Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunshine Tidings, where we've got uh, buttons over here playing with uh, with weapons and stuff. And uh, he's done. Okay, he noticed we were talking about him. He decided to go off and do something else. And Kate was. I mean, oh, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to make you feel self conscious. Kate, what are you doing? She's getting all close. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so today's agenda. I still need to go find that agility bobblehead. I know that it's down in here somewhere. So I I think maybe it could be in Quincy Ruins, but then again it might be it might be over in this boat. So I don't know. I don't know what this other stuff is too. So we're gonna go back down to Quincy and kinda run through and see what items we might have missed, because a place like Quincy, there's gotta be a lot of stuff. So we're gonna go down there and pick back up. Okay, nice and quiet. Uh, oh nope, there was a there's a shot off in the distance. Oh, the heck! Oh, it's a Yaogwai. Has he seen me? Doesn't seem to have seen me. Let me know if you find some spare ammo. There's there's a guy over there. You guys want to help me? Uh, He's seen me. He's stunned him though, so he's nothing too big. Uh oh. Where do these guys come from? Is this a traitor or, or not a traitor? <laughs> Turret, that's what I meant to say. Run! Ah. Okay, where's the other one? Over there. Hey! Leave Kate alone! This thing. Don't stand in front of it. Okay, yeah, hide behind the tree. That's a much better decision. Can I go? Oh, good job. I was gonna go around and try to get it from the backside. But you did it, Kate. Where's buttons? Where's your friend? Is this kind of floating? A little bit. Stim pack, yeah. Oh, yeah, some good stuff there. Oh, we could wow. cook. That doesn't look half bad. Let's see, what do I want to make? Oh, a dirty wastelander. Because three strength? Yes, please. Roast soup. Um, I guess I can only roast. Some ribeye off of that rotten cow we just found. Oh, some cow fly. Anything else? Uh, that might be it. More has been... Uh, grayed out. Oh, no, let, let me out. Somebody's screaming. We gotta go see what they want. Hello? Madam? Do I hear? Oh, no. Get him! Get him! Uh-oh. I think I hear one on both sides. Hey! Back behind you! Watch out! They're coming! Oh, I got him for you. You're welcome. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, there's no more. God, I hate my alert so much. That's where we came from earlier, I think. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna run across a, a mine or something in here. Oh, no. He's dead. He's a Minuteman, too. I guess that was from the Battle of Quincy that I hear so much about. Ah, it's empty. can take some of that stuff, though. That's some good stuff. Is that a... Oh, it's a burn book. A cloth I can use, though. Braxo, yeah. Duct tape, uh huh. Want some help with that? I can do novice. It's the only one I can do. Nope, this way. I was just gonna say, watch me fade away. Nice. <laughs> but thanks, Not Kate. Bad. Oh. Might need to give you some pointers sometime. Um, 
nothing else. Okay, so we've cleared this house. Mark it. Get some chalk or some spray paint. Put a little, I don't know, a mark of some kind. Fusion cell, yeah. Wouldn't you guys want some combat armor? Would it be better than what you've got? Probably. Is she even wearing anything on her left leg? Oh yeah, a little thing. Okay, yeah, let's Let me know take if you find some spare ammo. that and... Which one of them has the lower defense? You know, Kate, I'm just gonna hey. go with you because you you're standing something. closer. I got something I want to say to you. What? Go on. What's what's on your mind? What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while, and we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making I'll sure I don't do anything stupid. You. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. No, we're pals. Oh, boy. I've never actually done Kate's, um, Kate's quest or friendship thing or anything. Didn't we already go through this? You don't owe me a thing. I appreciate your trust. If it makes you feel better, I guess I have nothing better to do. <laughs> It'd be nice to know more about you. Yeah. It would be nice to know more about you. You're saying that now, but when you hear me story, you might regret it. It all starts with two ways of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and oh, sold no. me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Oh, that's terrible. It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> My god. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there's more to oh, the story. Oh no. <laughs> It'd be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. Tell me your story gets worse. I don't know how you survived. I can't believe you tolerated that. I would have killed them all, or I can't imagine having to go through something like that. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can't imagine. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's low? Just wait. <clears throat> the story gets much worse. No. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy my own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You, you can them. imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Oof. Oof. You did what you had to do. <laughs> I mean, she wouldn't... I don't think she would have peace unless she did something to take care of that. You did what you had to do. Did I? When I close my eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl? I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are, the entire flawed package known as Kate, stripped bare for your perusal. What do you think of this, Buttons, back there? <laughs> Just listening silently. I haven't lost faith in you. Don't worry, I haven't lost faith in you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. I'm just glad I haven't disappointed you. Oh, we can't flirt with her, we're just pals. It's okay. We're friends. Hey, it's okay. We're friends. Look at me. Now you have me blushing. 
Well, that settles it, I suppose. Friends it is, then. Hope I make you a good one. Otherwise, I'm gonna look right the fool, aren't I? Buttons, what do you think of all that? I just wanted to give her an outfit. Hey. This better be worth it. Oh, I think it will be. So let's see how they compare. Chest piece uh, that is 1515 versus her MLA chest, which is 1423. Hmm. Well, I think it's better to keep that MLA chest piece because that's a lot of electric uh, reduction. Left arm is 99. Nine. MLA left arm. It gives her more luck, though. That might be worth keeping. MLA left leg is 8-8, eight, 5-9. Eight, MLA right leg, 8-8, eight, 2-5. Eight, that one we can do, though. Uh, crap, where's the button? There it is. <laughs> uh, rate of right arm, 10% reduction in action points. I don't think she uses AP. So, combat right arm. 9-9. Nine, nine. You can just hold the rest of that. Buttons. Buttons! Okay, let's switch it up. Let's see what you've got. Combat armor. So he's got an MLA chest, which is 310. 1515. Oh yeah, doing that for sure. Left arm, 9-9. Nine, nine, and he has a combat left arm. Combat left leg. So we're only looking at the MLA right arm right leg. So combat right leg. I gave that to Kate. And right arm. Nine nine. One nine. Okay. It's a bit better. God, I thought I saw something in the distance there. That's closed up. That's closed up. Oh! Damn it! Are you kidding me? Watch your step. I'm really bad at this. Just a quick save. And let's have a snack while we're, uh... Not too terribly hurt. There are a couple noodle cups. See, I knew back there I was saying I'm gonna walk over one of those mines. Just I should have realized I'd do it here. Look at this place, it's just trashed! Who would live here? That's it. See, now you're oh. just showing off. <laughs> you said, jump behind. You're just wasting space. It's more combat armor, but I think I'm okay on combat armor. keep looking up, and I'm like, oh wait, I should be also looking down. Uh, see? Damn it! It's good that I quick saved right here. Okay, where is this thing? Hello? Where is it? God damn it. I don't see it anywhere. What the hell? Does it not exist this time around? Okay, I'm just running all around and there's nothing happening. God, if this thing explodes. Is everybody dead? Because I didn't think I killed everyone, but maybe I did. So I really have not been through here. I guess I may as well have. Holly's terminal. Alright, so some story stuff I've never seen. 
Setting up defenses. Looks like we got here just in time. We ended up taking a group of gunners from behind as we came into the town. Took out about a third, but at least a dozen ran off. Mayor Jackson was practically in tears when we came up. Even let us use his own house as barracks. Gotta say, it's nice to find the Minutemen welcome like we were back, like we were back in the old days for a change. Preston has been helping them get some better walls up, and the town mechanic has been invaluable. He even has a couple suits of power armor. If we can get them up and running, it'll be a huge help. We don't have near enough manpower to hold the, hold the town if the gunners return in force, but I can't tell anyone that. I've sent out word to try to get reinforcements from any other Minutemen out there. I hope at least Colonel Marbury will be willing to help. We've gotten the walls in pretty good shape and filled the stairwell at the monorail platform. I've had Sturgis working on getting some walkways set up around, across the rooftops. Figure if they manage to breach the wall, we may be able to retreat up there for a counterattack. The gunners attack almost daily now, but we've got food and supplies enough that we can probably wait them out. Unfortunately, my call for reinforcements has been disappointing. Not a single person has shown up. Today has been a terrible turn of events. One of our own, a ten-year veteran named Clint, oh that was the guy, showed up at the gate. I thought at first he had come to tell us reinforcements were on the way, but it turns out the bastard has changed sides. He's apparently leading this group of gunners who've been laying siege. He actually had the nerve to try to convince the mayor to uh, the mayor and me to stand down. I politely informed him that there was not a chance in hell of that happening and what I would do to his traitorous ass if he showed up again. If someone of his experience is leading them, we'd better be ready for anything. Well, that explains how the uh, the battle here at Quincy happened. Is that anything new? Wasn't there a guy down here? Yeah. Oh, he's got nothing on him. Oh, he's a legendary, though, and he has nothing. Wait, is that something? Nah. Power fist. I wonder where that person, um... Tessa is. I mean, she shares a name with my sister. I'm kind of interested to see what she's about. Guns, guns, guns! Because they have their own little shop set up and everything. I mean, I suppose they were a settlement. Oh, that's not a person. That's a dead guy. God, what a mess this place is. Just labyrinthine too. How How did this lady get like this? No. Oh, I thought that was a stairway. But no, that's over here. Although there's also a makeshift stairway here. Uh-oh. Don't look at that. Just ignore it. It's a very hefty door. Uh-oh. Mama Murphy's stash. What? Is this Mama Murphy's old house? This is where she watched TV, her favorite channel, that one where there's nothing happening ever? This must have been her room. You like old stuff, don't you? Don't see the point. That, time that must have been gone. her sequin dress. You're gonna drag that junk around. Oh my god. This place is just huge. And this is very precarious. What is supporting that? That does not look like it would hold up. Super duper mart. Is that? Oh, it's a gunner. They're not all dead. Buttons, go get him. Uh, excuse me. Huh. Here and shit. It's Tessa. Oh. 